guys, welcome back to the channel. On this episode, we're going to be going over the process of uh, skinning out a largemouth bass for a skin mount and uh, getting it ready to mount. Um, this has been one of the videos that uh, we've had a lot of requests, so uh, I thought I'd try to get this one put together and get it put up here on the channel. So, uh, y'all stick around here. I'm fixing to get the tools out that we went over in the uh, fish skinning video and uh, show y'all how to use them. So, I'll be right back with you. Alright, guys. First thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put on a pair of gloves because these fish, you know, it's just like anytime you clean a fish, they're gonna get your hands all fishy smelling. So what I wanna do is I wanna determine which side I'm gonna make want for the show side of the fish. So I want this to be my show side. This fish here, this is gonna be facing the right, it'll be a right hand turn. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use actually uh yeah, I'm gonna use a scalpel blade to do to uh to do my incision. So what I'm gonna do is down here at the base of the tail, right here where the fin junction is, I'm just gonna take my scalpel and I'm gonna get right center of the body, right in line with the, with the uh, spine of the fish. And I'm just gonna stick my blade under the skin and I'm just gonna start cutting up the middle of this fish. You can, like I said before, you can use scissors to do this. I just like to use a scalpel blade. To me, it's just a lot cleaner, a lot straighter, a lot quicker. But I'm just going to keep working this scalpel blade up the center of this fish and go all the way up to the collarbone up here. This uh, skin on these fish is real thin, so it's not very hard to cut through. You just gotta kinda let it work its way through the scales. All right, now right here is your collarbone. So I'm gonna run this, this scalpel blade all the way up to that collarbone. All right, once I get that done, I'm gonna take my fish skin and knife and I'm gonna kinda open that incision up. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna work this, I'm gonna work this knife just under the skin of this fish. With a solid motion, just work it down under there and that skin, it'll start working its way loose. I'm gonna work away all the way up the body of the fish here. Got a spot here I may need to go a little deeper. There we go, get it on open up. What you're gonna do is just take your fingers and just pull this skin and run this round and this, this skin will peel right off of this fish. This really ain't much different than skinning a deer or a squirrel. The object is just try to leave as much uh, meat on the body, on the carcass as you can. Just be gentle. Try not to knock one of the scales loose around the... It, you're going to lose a few scales right here at the incision. That's just, not, that's just normal. There really ain't no way to prevent that. You just don't want to lose them on the other, the front, the show side of the fish. You want to skin all the way up to these uh, fin rays right here. Just be careful and don't go all the way through the back of the fish when you get right in here. Right here where the spine is on the spine of the fish. You don't want to cut through that skin, so be real careful when you get to that point. All 
All right, I'm gonna spin this around. We're gonna go the other direction with it now. And usually to get it started, I'll just kind of do a little saw in motion. And that usually gets the gets the hide started right here. And once you get it started, you can kind of pick it up with your thumb and just keep running your knife under it. Like I said, you want to try to leave as much meat on the skin as you can. Or on the on the carcass, I mean, not the skin. Try not to tear the skin down here at the tail. Keep running that knife around, around the body till you get down to those, your lower fans down here. But like I said, be careful when you get to these fans because you don't want to cut through the, through the skin. And it's kind of, when you run out of the edge of them fin rays, you can accidentally poke a hole through it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna run this knife on up into the, uh, up towards the throat latch under the skin and just keep working it forward as you go. And you eventually you're gonna end up in here where the, around the collarbone. All right. Now I'm gonna work down the belly. Just keep working my way around this fish. Freeing that skin up. If you have to, sometimes when it gets down to these hard to reach places, I told y'all I had two different size knives. If it gets to the point where you can't reach it, you might have to get a little bit longer knife and go up in here towards this throat latch area and get it worked loose. I'm just gonna keep working this around the belly right here. And I'll come back down once I get as far as I can go there. Come down here and go around the back side of your tail. And I usually like to try to free the tail up and cut my spine loose. Once you do that, you can work your way around to the front of the fish. If you don't tear this skin and have to tail, this this will give you a pocket to uh, to set that form down in when you mount the form, and it'll kind of lock that tail in place while you're working on the rest of the fish.
All right, now I'm going to work my way up into the head with my knife. And all I'm kind of doing is just kind of running this knife along, doing a sawing motion, just right under the skin here, all the way up. You want to come all the way up into the, to the front part of the head up in here so you can free it loose. Like I said, just be careful around these fin rays up in here because you don't want to cut a hole through them. Just take your time. Go slow. When you get down here to the vent on this fish, you're going to have to cut through it. So kind of cut up into the, what I'm talking about is the anus right here in the vent. You're going to have to cut through it. So like I said, cut up close to the body when you cut through this so you don't make a big hole in your skin. Heels up, and I want to go through, and I'm going to cut through the collarbone of this fish with my my shears. This fish is still a little froze, so you have to kind of. Kind of work this up through here around the around the gills. Don't you don't want to damage your gills, but you're gonna to have to open this up because you got to be able to get in here to, to skin this out inside. Now, like I said, what we're going to do, we've got to cut through the collarbone of this fish. So you're just going to snip right through that bone. And just be careful and don't cut the gills right here. Now, what you're going to do is I like to take, a, uh, take my scalpel blade and just go around the inside right here, right at the gill. I'm going to run my blade right around that collarbone. And you don't want to cut your, don't cut your, uh, your throat latch which is this part right here in the middle. You're just going to go up to the edge of it right here on the inside. Thank you. 
And what you want to do is come in here, just go right up on that skin, cut this fin right here loose. There'll be some little tendons in there that attach to this fin on the side. You're going to have to cut them loose and help free some of this up. Take your time. Work your way out there, and then once you get that cut loose, take your skinning knife and just kind of skin up and start skinning up towards that throat latch. Just be careful, and don't cut a hole in it. Same goes for this side up here around the head. We're going to start. Trimming, trying to work our knife up under this collarbone, freeing this meat up. Up inside the head, up in here. Like I said, you just want to saw this back and forth. Now she, it's starting to open up now that we're starting to cut all this stuff loose. So just keep working away. A lot of times I'll take my thumb and just kind of work my thumb around through here to get this skin opened up. Like I said, just use your, use your uh, snips to go in here and just cut these fins loose and cut, these, cut all these bones loose and just work all this stuff out of here. Snipping your way through till you get through all these right here in the front. And once you get through them, it should, it sh the skin should start freeing up and then you can start doing the rest of your fins. 
Now I'm gonna come down here to the tail. I'm gonna get my small knife and I'm gonna try to go around this tail and get this tail freed up. Once I get it freed up, then I can go in and cut it loose. Kind of keep going with solid motion, go work your way around the fish. And I'll start go around one side and then I'll work my way back around the other until I get it until I get all this freed up. You can just kind of pick it up and peer out if we check, make sure you ain't cutting through the, the, the show side of the fish. Just keep working that thing back, that knife back and forth till you get all the way to the tip of that tail. Once you get down in there where you think you're close enough to end, then you just want to take your shears and work them under your tail here and just clip your tail. Cut it and start cutting it loose. As you can see, our tail is detached from our fish. So now what we're going to do is, I'm going to go up under here with my knife and start working up the front, up the show side, and then cut my start to start. As I go up, I'm going to start cutting my fin rays loose. What I'm going to do. I'm just going to take and stick these up under here. Pull. I like to pull the fin out. And just work these right on the skin up through here and just clip as I go up. And that just frees my and it helps start freeing the skin up. I'm going to do the same thing on the other side. And if you see, these uh, shears, they've got a curved tip on them. I like, to, I like to put the curve in towards the body of the fish. That way I make sure I don't cut through the, through the skin side of the fish.
trying to get this where y'all can see it. It's kind of hard to do. And I'm just going up the back of this fish, running these shears up there and cutting it loose. dorsal fin all the way up too. So now I gotta do is start Kate start uh, skinning the rest of the body off. What I like to do a lot of times I'll just kind of turn the fish up on its end, kind of on its head, and take my knife and go down the back side and get it started to peel it off. As you can see, if you see the knife handle right here, I've got the, the tip of this blade of this knife is all the way up here to the skull of this fish, and that's where you want. You gotta go all the way across the top of this to get this head freed up. So I'm just gonna keep kind of working around and go all the way across the head of this fish. Same thing on this other side right here. I'm going to take this knife, put it in here, and I'm going to work it all the way across. I can feel the edge of my knife right here behind the eyeball, so I know I'm getting pretty dang close right here to where we need to be. Alright, so we pretty much got the body disconnected. Now we just got to go up in here and uh, we've got to cut the spine so we can pull the, uh, pull the carcass out of the fish head. I've got to cut one more bone right here.
We're just going to keep skinning around this head right here. This is getting up close to the throat lash. You want to be careful because this is real thin skin right in here where I'm skinning around this part of the body. Cut this fin loose right here. You just want to be careful and don't cut through the skin when you're trying to get this part cut loose. It's kind of tricky because that, that fin will kind of bury up in that skin right there. I think I got it that time. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go through here and I'm going to cut the spine loose and uh, We'll get the carcass out of this fish. You're just going to have to run your, run your cutters up in here at an angle, up towards the skull. And try to get a hold of that spine and get it clipped. These old big fish, they got some big old bones up in here, so sometimes you gotta kinda work with them, man, to get them cut through.
and you'll have to cut through this fish as a softness once you get down in here too. And uh, I usually just take my scalpel and cut through it. skin out fish. So what we're going to do next is we're going to go in here and we're going to remove the eyeball. The way I do that is I just take a scalpel blade, start up here around the edge of the eye, just run your blade in there. Just work your way around. Moving that eye. And you can take that cheeker tool I was telling you about, use it to work down there and pop that eyeball out of the socket. And what I'll do once I get it popped out, then you can take that tool and just keep working it around that eye. You have to even pop it right out of there. All right, there's one of them gone. Now we just gotta flip it over and remove the other one. Like I said, just take your take your scalpel blade, start up here, and just go all the way around that eye with a sawing motion. And now don't cut the outside of this skull with this skin, as you got to be careful because it'll nick it up with this razor with this scalpel blade. But if you go all the way around, it just makes you a circle. Like I said, just kind of do a sawing motion, go all the way around it. And take your take your cheeker tool, stick it down there, and just pop it out of the socket. What I like to do is just take my book, my scalpel and just go in here and trim up. If there's any excess tissue in here, just go in that eye hole and trim that tissue up. And all right. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take our cheeker tool, and I was telling y'all about the cheek meat. That cheek meat is right in here in the cheek of this fish. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take this tool and there's a little void between the skull and the eye. You're gonna, you're gonna work this cheek or toe down in that void and open this up. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna run this tool down in there around the skull. And just kinda like, like I said, just saw it around. And free up all this meat down inside the head of this fish. Once you get to get it done next to the skull, then you can come over here on the skin side and free it up on the skin side, which will be the in, very inside of the skin. What I did when I first run this down in here, I was on the skull side up against the bone. Now I'm on the outside up against the skin. And I'm gonna just run this around in this cavity in here 
and I'm just going to free all this meat. Just be careful and don't jab it through the, the skin right here on the side of the face of the fish. Because you can do that. I've done it several times. I may do it before this video is over with. You never can tell. I try not to, but, you know, stuff happens. You want to make sure you get all the meat out of the head of this fish because if you don't, it'll stink. You won't ever get that fishy smell out of your mouth. And then you take your, take your tweezers and go down in here and grab this meat and pull it out. Like I said, sometimes I can pull it out in one piece, sometimes I have to pull it out in pieces. Just want to get in there and scrub that thing around and work that meat out of there. You can see it coming out inside that eye hole right there. It helps if you got some borax. I usually have borax that I work down here and it makes it easier to get a grip on it and pull it out. You can see them big chunks, all that meat coming out of there. Like I said, you just want to make sure you get that, all that out of here. There's quite a bit down in there. Like I said, sometimes it'll all come out one piece. Sometimes it does like this, it comes out in pieces, and I don't know if that just depends on how the fish freezes or or what, but I've had it happen, like I said, both both ways. Alright. So now all we got all we got left is we'll just go in here and uh, kind of flesh out the head on the inside and uh, Get that esophagus, get it pulled out, get it fleshed out. Get the rest of this meat up out of the inside. And all we gotta do, I usually just take a scalpel blade and just kind of shave it off. You can use your fish knife, but scalpel blade work. Well, that's a lot quicker. You can see a pretty good, that's, that's the throat latch meat there. All right, and then what we're gonna do is, we're gonna take our, uh, our fleshing tool, and we're gonna come in here on the fish, and, uh, we're going to open it up, we'll take our fleshing tool, and we're just going to start pulling this flesh out of this fish, get, getting all the meat off the skin. You just want to be careful, don't get too rough with it, you don't want to knock no scales loose, you don't want to cut no holes in it either. But. whatever meat you leave in there it does a good job of removing all the meat but you just want to scrape all this down like I said you want to get it good and clean you don't want no, no meat on the inside of the skin of this fish and uh, that, that goes for the for the thin rays too you want to you want to make sure you scrape them down good and what you can do is, once you got it skinned, you got the carcass out of it, you can come back in here with your shears and you can actually flesh these rays out 
now that you got the skin out. You just want to go right along, just cut right up next to the skin. And what that'll do is that'll remove any meat and stuff from the, the inside of those rays. That's what, what you can trim out of it. And just go all the way around the fish and uh, trim everything out, all the fin rays out. Just trim all the meat off of them like that. Just like I said, be careful. Don't pinch your skin and cut a hole in your skin. Just work your way around. And once you uh, once you get all that meat off, then you want to just go ahead and continue fleshing it out with your flesher. And you can use a tablespoon for this too. Just get your tablespoon and use it just like I'm using this tool here. Just scrape the skin. Just go all the way out to the edge and pull the pull all this meat off of it. This don't take a whole lot of time to do. You just got to be careful. Don't get in too big of a hurry and cut holes all in. If you accidentally do cut a hole in this hide, it ain't no big deal. You can fix it. Just get you some uh, some white epoxy sculpt or even some natural. And just fill in. Once you get the fish mounted, just fill the holes in with it. And uh, I'll show you that when we mount the fish. I'm sure I'll have a hole in it somewhere. I'll show you how to fix it if you do get a hole in it. And as you can see on this table, this is a messy process. I mean, doing fish is, it's, I mean, it's just like you're cleaning fish. You're going to have the fishy smell, plus you're going to have the mess all. But once you flesh this, it's, it's a lot different when you're skinning one out the mouth because you end up with a ton of little old bitty jibbles of, of fish meat and tissue just from, from scraping this skin out. But, uh, Alright guys, I don't want to make this video no longer than I have to. Y'all pretty much got the idea of skinning this out. And uh, I'll lay it out here on the table and kind of show you uh, what it looks like. I'll find a clean spot here where there ain't a bunch of this stuff here left. All this meat and liquid and all this nastiness. But uh, y'all stick around here. I'll be right with you here in just a minute. Alright guys, let's got the fish. Uh, finished um, skinned out now this ain't it's just the skin here and uh, I, like I said you know you see me take out the eyes of cheap meat uh, clean up the socus scrape the skin so now what we're gonna do is uh, I'll mix up my fish tan uh, right when I get right before I get my uh, my form I gotta order my form I hadn't ordered it yet so uh, once that form comes in I'll, fix, I'll mix up that fish tan and tan it overnight and then it'll be ready to mount um, so uh, y'all stick around here. I'm gonna get this thing put up. I'll be right back with you. All right, guys, that's gonna do it for the fish uh, skinning video. Um, the next video coming up in the series is gonna be how to mount a fish. Um, it's, I'm, it's gonna be this exact fish that we worked on today, and I'll go over the mounting process. And uh, what we'll do is we'll uh, we'll get the fish mounted up, and uh, I'll get uh, everything done as far as. You know, getting the headset on the form, getting the, the fins and everything pinned out. And then uh, there'll be uh, two more videos after that. The next video will be uh, how to card the fins. And uh, then it'll be how to uh, paint the fish and install the eyes. And that'll finish up the How to Mount a uh, Bass series. So uh, I just want to thank y'all for watching. Uh, if you had subscribed, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Give this video a like. And uh, just spread the word with your family and friends out there. Tell them about Clear Creek Taxidermy here on YouTube. And uh, thanks for watching and God bless.